Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World again, and today we're going to talk about how to stay stealthy in Insurgency Sandstorm. And the most important part of that is understanding that audio is a huge part of this game, and it's way more impactful than it is in a lot of other shooters. What I mean by this is Sandstorm has got a really great 3D audio engine that makes it really easy to figure out how far sounds are away and what direction they're coming from. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about minimizing your audio signature as well as how to use sounds to help detect enemy players. Okay, so to kick off, the most obvious sounds that you'll have to be aware of in Sandstorm are your footsteps and those of other players. Because of all the sounds we're going to talk about in this video, these are the ones that you can't avoid and they're the ones the enemy players are going to be listening out for. As you'd expect, sprinting makes the most noise, walking makes a fair bit less, and crouching makes even less again. And so, as a general rule, if you feel like enemy players are close, try not to run, and if you're hiding inside a building, well, definitely try not to move at all. Now, another sound that you're not going to be able to avoid is gunshots, and obviously firing your weapon will give your position away to anyone that's nearby. And so it's really important if you think there's enemies close by to make sure that you only fire your weapon when it's absolutely necessary. Also, because there's faction-based weapons in this game, experienced players will be able to tell the difference between friendly and enemy shots. And so one way that you might want to get around this is to use a suppressor, which will not only make your shots quieter in general, it'll also disguise the type of weapon that you're using. So the next most obvious sounds that you're going to want to watch out for are the sounds that your character makes, and especially the ones that you can control. Like, for example, when you use the Comoros or you call in fire support as the commander, it'll actually make you speak. And considering the different factions have different accents, it's pretty easy to tell them apart. Also, just watch out because apart from this, there's a lot of little involuntary sounds that are harder to control, like when you cough or when you get shot or when you reload. And so probably the best way to avoid this is to use a gas mask because not only will that allow you to run through smoke without coughing, it'll also muffle the sound of your voice. Now, speaking of your character's voice, well, one of the awesome communication features in Sandstorm is the proximity VoIP. And sure, it does allow you to communicate pretty easily with nearby teammates, but what you may not realize is that the enemy can hear this VoIP too. So basically, as a general rule, unless you absolutely have to, don't use proximity VoIP unless you think you're out of range of the enemy. But with that being said, maybe you might want to try and mislead nearby enemies specifically by using it, especially, for example, combined with a dummy smoke grenade. But finally, the last point, which a lot of people forget about, is that when you're entering a building, windows and doors make a ton of noise. And so you can bet if there is somebody in a room and you try and open the door or smash a window to get in, they'll know exactly where you're about to enter from. Also, obviously, even though it might be faster, kicking in a door is going to make even more noise and shooting the hinges off even more again. And so, in a nutshell, make sure you bring some extra grenades for when you do have to open doors, and remember when you're hiding in a room to keep all the doors shut. But anyway, guys, I guess that just about wraps up this video, so make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, let me know if you've got any other tips for staying stealthy in Sandstorm, because I'd love to hear them, and I'm sure everyone else would as well. As always, though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also, don't forget, you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch with me. And as always, until next time, see you later, and have a good one.